Hi, this is Mike here once again. I am the developer of Computer Cuisine Deluxe and I'm making this video to show you how you can use Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 or later to work with the free iPhone app called Cuisine To Go available from the Apple Store and how you can transfer all of your recipes as well as your shopping list onto your iPhone. This also works for an iPad, so anytime I say the word iPhone, I'm also talking about the iPad where you can run it in the simulation mode. But primarily the goal behind this was that I saw a lot of developers on the App Store using recipe applications that accessed online information for recipes that you may know nothing about. These are usually recipes rated by other people and this is great, don't get me wrong, I use this resource quite a bit and I think it's fantastic. It's just that I wanted this app to be an app for you to enter in just your recipe information and have all of your recipes on your iPhone at any time. This could be, you could be at a family function or something and, and you bring a dessert and somebody says, oh my, this is fantastic and I would love the recipe for this. Well, you could have this in your pocket at any time and you can say here's the recipe I'll email it to you right from my phone and it's just super simple um, the other idea was maybe you're coming home from work and you want to make a particular dish that you it's one of your favorites but you don't remember exactly what's in it well you'll have all of your recipes in your pocket at any time that you manage with the home desktop version and then you just export it onto your iPhone and you'll have all that recipe information in your pocket to where you can ask, access it from the supermarket and just look it up and say, oh, okay, here's where here's all the ingredients I need to buy to make this when I get home tonight. So that's really the, the idea behind the application. And it's fairly simple to work. It just, I can understand how you may need a little bit of a step-by-step -step the first time. So that's what this, this video is all about. So from the Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1, desktop version. I'm on a Mac. It could be the Mac or the Windows version. Um, we're going to scroll through and you can see that there's quite a few. Obviously there's 1001 recipes that are included with Computer Cuisine Deluxe. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to export all of these recipes onto your iPhone. One of the requirements for the Cuisine To Go app, although it is a free app, it does require that you have to have a registered version of Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 and you need a home network with wireless or Wi-Fi enabled. That's because we're going to transfer the recipe file onto your phone or your iPad. We're going to transfer that onto your phone via a wireless connection. It's very simple, but you do have to have, it's an absolute requirement that you have to have Wi-Fi enabled it on your home network in order to transfer recipes onto your iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and click iPhone here. And once you click iPhone, it will tell you that it's going to create a desktop file called cuisineall.xml and this will create a raw recipe data file with all of your recipes. All 1001 recipes are now on a file on your desktop. This is a raw data file. So if you open this up in a text editor, it's probably going to look like a mess, but it's very important to not alter this file in any way. And once you import this into your iPhone, you'll be able to display it. Now that's for all of your recipes. Now you don't have to necessarily do all of your recipes to transfer to your iPhone. Maybe for example, you want to do a particular find and you want to find all recipes with the word chocolate in the name. So we're gonna go ahead and type chocolate as the recipe name. And we're gonna say all of these have chocolate in the title and there are 11. You could do chocolate in the ingredients and maybe you'll get a few more recipes that just have chocolate, but we're gonna go ahead and and just export this now. In the tools menu, you can select export only found recipes to your iPhone or iPad, and that generates a file called cuisinefound.xml onto the desktop. And once you click OK, you'll see cuisine found. Now, these names are not particularly stringent, so you can go ahead and if you'd like, you can go ahead and type chocolate right there so you know cuisine chocolate, that's your chocolate collection, and then all, all isn't a bad name because it's your entire recipe collection that's fine anything you'd like just don't don't alter the contents of the file now we're going to go back to the main menu it says one of 11 because we only have these chocolate recipes found so we're just going to go ahead and click find all now we have the full 1001 recipes back in our collection and we're going to do the same thing for the shopping list go ahead and click shop and we're going to make a grocery list for monday 
And let's say Monday's recipe, we're going to have Alaskan salmon chowder as well as apple cake and a nice little Alabama slammer to finish it off. Now we're going to click, click make grocery list here. And you'll see that all of these checkboxes here are listed from the ingredients in these three recipes. Go ahead and select check all and you can go ahead and uncheck the items that you don't need at the supermarket maybe you already have salt and cinnamon maybe you already have sugar and flour and you might have vanilla extract so everything else you're going to buy for example at the supermarket you can also go ahead and type anything here maybe it's laundry detergent maybe it's not food related but other things you may need at the supermarket you can type those here to generate a, a shopping list based on these exact items and last but not least you're going to click iPhone list Go ahead and click iPhone list and now you'll see cuisine grocery list XML that will be created on the desktop. So we essentially have the grocery list here. We have just a collection of chocolate recipes right here and we have cuisine all your complete recipe collection here. So what's next? We're now going to go to the iPhone and we're going to punch up the iPhone and launch the cuisine to go app from the app store. We're going to go ahead and click import your recipes as the main on the main menu. And when you click import your recipes, you're going to see a message box on your iPhone that comes up that says HTTP and then a series of complex numbers and such that you're going to enter into a web browser to access your iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to read off what I'm seeing on the iPhone for this video example. And it's pretty complex looking, but once you type it in, 192.168.1.100 colon 49972 is the number. You hit enter, and you're going to see this is the connection to my iPhone. What we're essentially doing here is this, this complex URL is on the home network, and we've through the cuisine to go app we've made it so that the iPhone is acting as a server ready to accept these XML files your recipe files and your grocery list file so you need to make sure that you type this number in exactly as you see it from your iPhone you are not going to type in this number you are going to type in an exact number that you see on your iPhone so this could be different this could be completely different you're going to type in the number that you see displayed at the top of the iPhone from the cuisine to go app once you do that you're going to just simply go down and select choose file and we're going to choose these recipe files now this is just for the recipe import not the grocery list import so we're going to select cuisine chocolate recipes these are all the chocolate recipes and then we're going to hit submit when you see the name listed in blue here it's been transferred to the iPhone if you want to transfer every single recipe in your collection type cuisine all hit choose hit submit might take a little longer because it's a thousand recipes and voila there it is listed in blue so now once we've transferred those two files we know that they're on the iPhone on your iPhone you can click stop HTTP server and you're ready to go so the you will see a list of various XML files on the cuisine to go app for iPhone and you just want to make sure that you select for example the top one which is cuisine all once you hit back you will now be taken to the main menu where you can view your recipes and it will now be your complete recipe collection. You're going to do the same thing for your grocery list that we created from the iPhone app. You're going to say import grocery list and you'll see another one of these complex numbers up here. For this particular example, on my particular iPhone, it is 73. So I'm going to go ahead and type that and you can see some previous imports that I've done in the past but we're going to choose the file and we're going to select that grocery list once again this is the grocery list import so we're only going to only going to import the grocery list select choose hit submit once you see that it's now been submitted you know it's on your iPhone so on your iPhone you can click stop HDTV server and you'll see it at the top of the list and you're ready to go click back to the main menu on your cuisine to go iPhone app and you're all set you basically have your entire recipe collection as well as your grocery list on your iPhone and you're ready to go. You can do the same process for the iPad so that you don't have to print out recipes and bring it to the kitchen. It runs in the simulation mode similar because it is an iPhone only app at this point. 
but um, you'll be able to basically have everything mobilized and ready to go. So once again, that, that is the Cuisine To Go app. It's available for free at the Apple Store. It does require, however, that you have Computer Cuisine Deluxe 6.1 or later and a Wi-Fi connection, and then you'll be able to have all your recipes on the go. Thanks.